Whether you are a rookie who doesn't know how to set up preamp gain properly or you're a professional who had to, for some reason, change the input gain of certain channels during the show, I think this video will be very helpful for you. Recently, I was put in a situation where I had to do a separate mix for the live stream and there wasn't enough signal going into that bus. It was way too quiet because in that room, the speakers were too loud, so the input gain on the channels were too quiet. If you look at the input meters, there's barely any signal. So I had to turn up the input gain on all the channels to get enough signal into the mix bus for the live stream. If you ever tried to do that before, you know you have to compensate in a lot of different places. Because if you turn up the preamp gain, you have to also turn up the threshold of the gate and threshold of the compressor and to turn it down in the monitors and to turn it down in the main mix. There's a lot of stuff that you need to keep track of and if you're doing this for multiple channels, it's a nightmare. So I started doing this manually and it was way too tedious and I've been using Mixing Station for about six or seven months almost exclusively. So I thought maybe there's some feature that I'm not aware of yet. So I went to the Mixing Station website and read all the documentation for the app and guess what? There was a feature I was not aware of and it's called Regain that allows you to hypothetically seamlessly change the preamp gain mid-show and not affect anything else. I tried it and it was a lifesaver. I was able to change the preamp gains on all the channels in less than one minute. When you go into the channel, this is the gain knob, nothing special, it just looks like a knob. There's no indicator that there's something else hiding behind it. But if you long press on it, this is what you get, a slider. That's not a surprise. All of the knobs in Mixing Station can be opened as a slider for more precise control. But here's the thing that's hiding. I will open this in a new window because everything behind it is grayed out. So I'm gonna close this and I'm gonna open the gain knob only in a new window, press on it, and here we go. If I press regain, and move the gain now, look what's happening. The threshold of the gate is changing, threshold of the compressor is changing, the sends levels are changing to the buses, and also the main fader of the channel is changing, proportionally to how much I'm adding or subtracting gain. Now, if you notice, the last four buses, 13, 14, 15, 16, are not moving. And why is that? It's because these are post-fader buses. This regain functionality affects everything that is pre-fader. Because think about it, if the main fader of the channel is moving with the gain, that main fader of the channel controls the level of the sends that are going into the post-fader bus. So the level is being compensated for. But keep in mind, if I go into the compressor and I open the gain knob again, the threshold only is changing. So if you had set the input gain low previously and you have the threshold low to accommodate for that and you have your makeup gain turned up too much and then you do this regain and bring this up the makeup gain of the compressor does not change i guess this is my only complaint about it otherwise it's almost perfect like you could pretty much change the gain of the channel after you set up everything and it will in most cases be flawless unless you have a very high makeup gain on the compressor then you have to compensate for that yourself you have to grab it and turn it down also maybe you don't want everything to change and you have control over that. So if I go into this again and hit regain and do this, you're seeing everything is being compensated for. But if I click on the gear icon right here, you have options. Turn off the sends if you want. Now, if I do the regain, it's not affecting the sends level down here. They are not changing. Turn on the sends again. Maybe I don't want the gate to change. So I turn off the gate and then change this. The sends are changing. The compressor threshold is changing, but the gate is not being affected. So on and so forth. You can do the same for the compressor. Now the gate is changing and sends are changing and the compressor is not being affected. Do the same thing for the left right. Maybe you don't want the main fader to change or other mains if you're using a bigger console like the wing, for example. So you can pick and choose what exactly you want to change and what you don't want to change with that regain feature. In most cases, you would want everything to be on. But let's say you're not using a gate on this channel, it's off, and you don't want to necessarily change the parameters for that. I guess you can turn off the gate right here so that it doesn't change the value because even if it's turned off, on the channel, it will still change the value of the threshold if you do that regain thing. Now, this is a pro feature, so it requires the paid version of the app. However, if you're using it on PC, you can use it for as long as you want, but the app will disconnect from the mixer every 15 minutes and you have to reconnect again. That's the only catch, but you can use all the pro features in the trial version for free for as long as you want, basically. I guess on iPhone, you could do that too. On Android devices, you cannot. You have to buy the license. But this thing is so quick, you don't need 15 minutes. I was able to fix the input gain of multiple channels in less than a minute. Just open that, regain, boom, boom, that's it. 